welcome back to Darkfall Ghost Vigil. At the end of the last episode, I was stumped on where to go. I started looking at a walkthrough, but I didn't actually get to the point where it uh, got to anything new. It was just stuff we had already gone over. When I got an idea, and then while trying to follow that idea up, I started looking at the stuff in the science room, and... Well, it turns out the Bunsen burner over there can be lit, and we can put this bowl on the Bunsen burner. I didn't realize that, but I don't think there's anything to put in it. And then I went over here and realized, uh, even though there's a bunch of test beakers, I was thinking we would need, like, a bunch of chemicals. Right now we just have one, I think, the pH test thing. Uh, I realized there's some pots here. And pH is important to plants. So can I just grow this here? Like, put it in and then test it and something? No? Well, it was a good idea, I guess. Okay, I've learned two things from the walkthrough. Thankfully, I didn't have to spoil much at all. One, the whole radio frequency of 89.3 only matters for the one in the attic. It has to be set to that to, I think, do the whole Thomas Harding's reverie time shift thing. So it's only for that. I don't have to play it on any other radios. And the other thing is, I think the biggest thing I'm missing in here is it sounds like I need to do the visual search on the cams for longer until Steve says nice job and then I can go upstairs. I think that's it. I think that's what's been keeping me back is I just didn't do it long enough. Maybe I need to do one for like every room. Ah, yeah, it's probably, it's not the number you do, it's just like, you need to have done every room, so I shouldn't repeat the same room. Ah, it's annoying that it doesn't just like, make sure that you tend to get blips and activity found on the rooms that are new, that you haven't done yet. It's really weird. Um, right, I'm checking for changes. Oh, there. At least there's one. Seven more to go. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. That changed. Oh, there we go. That's symbol. Symbol again. All over the place, that damn symbol. Keeps moving places. That symbol again? I want to know what that symbol means. It's everywhere. Early days, but wait a sec. Hey, this is Bear. That's bloody amazing. You've logged more data than me. I can't wait to take a look at your captures. That's great data. You're our best newbie by far. Yeah, it's Steve here. I've uh, got to admit. I'm impressed. You should definitely take a look around upstairs. Good job. We're really getting somewhere. Yay! How many people got that achievement? Doesn't say, does it? Dang. I want to know if I'm the only one that didn't get that. <laughs> I didn't quite understand how that minigame worked. It definitely could work a lot better. I understand maybe occasionally throwing in the random ghostly figure or orb or something just to make things a bit mysterious and weird, but I would like it if at least most of the blips of activity you get are actually new things that you need to do rather than a million of the old things that don't matter. Yes. 
Yes, upstairs. Main stairs. This staircase joins what would have been the main hall, the hub of Shangri-La. It is a grander build designed to impress visiting dignitaries and add drama for the Harwood family when traversing the house. Now, the staircase looks rickety after years of playful abuse by the children of Shangri-La. <laughs> That's the first time we've received a ghost talking to us on the walkie-talkie. Those don't sound like playful screams. Between the doll and that, and the noise, Christ. I didn't like it. Bad idea. I think I need to just run, perhaps. God, what are these bits of energy that I'm... Yeah. happened. There's some seriously nasty energy in here. Attached to this location and this doll specifically, that's what set it off.
You! Stop there! Who are you? Oh. Uh, I'm not going to say a ghost hunter. Well, I'm caretaker here, so I know everyone. I'm a parent, is what I said. A parent, maybe? Yeah. I recognize the family resemblance now. You've gone the wrong way, my pet. Back to the visiting area. There ain't nothing to see here. My pet. Right. I get the feeling they were abusing children there. No sliding down the banister. Matron is watching. Come in. Are you hearing that? Uh, yeah, what the hell was that? Time for class. Painting. The painting, thought to be original to the house, features a vague figure whose identity is unknown. Could it be Isabella, the wife of Lord Harwood and mother to Edgar? She killed herself somewhere in the house two weeks after the tragic death of her son. That was my first thought, Isabella. But who's the child with them? Oh, and that's their favorite flower. The Golden Star. Boys dorm. Sorta. Of. There's no safety rails. It's weird. I can at some point you use this. What would I use on it? I have no idea. Probably don't have it yet then. Jenny? Jim? Follow me to the library. Mr. Harding is waiting.
Girls' Dormitory. Bunk beds and board games are a throwback to the Second World War. Most of the toys were dated long before being donated by a kindly local charity shop. The girls' dormitory is somewhere you can guarantee supernatural phenomena. Things move, children laugh, and the room feels alive in some dark way. That's what the doll is going to be for. I'm going to save... Reshma Vicky Patsy. It's a tally of scores. And also some times? One hour? Fifteen minutes? What does that mean? There's also pictures of ghosts all over this. Well, I guess just one ghost. And that looks like a dark figure, probably a ghost. One hour. I wonder if they were daring each other to, like, spend time in some cursed place where ghosts are. I'm gonna put this in my notes. Vicky, Reshma, Patsy, Karen, Louise. This game is stupid. I'd prefer the other one. Oh. Some lovers. I'm going to put all of this in my notes. to learn game of skill and tactics for two players wait for oh that's an age for two players 10 to adult This is a scorecard, scorecard for different games. I think that's why I can look at all the games. I need to figure out what the initials... Like, what the initials are. Like, what the game actually is based on the initials and looking at the board game boxes, I think. I don't know what I'm going to use that for, but it's obviously important. So, let's start looking at all the names and comparing it. Quandry. We do have the... F um, one of the ones we found is QND. The letters Q and D. That could be quandary. Let's say it is. Let's say quandary. Putting it in my notes. I know you can't see it. Sorry. There's no name, but I think I can figure out this is probably Domino's. Tell me, TM. Ah, yeah, we have another one for that. TM is tell me. So that just leaves KN. There might be some other scorecards to find, though. Hmm. I'm getting negative. 
negative vibes from this radio. Yeah, I'm not turning that on. Not right now. K-N. Bingo. Does it say Knitting Nancy? Knitting, knitting Nancy, K-N. Well, that's all of them that we've gotten so far. Still don't know what we're going to do with that. Did I miss anything? Other than the radio? Oh, yeah, I can go over here. Ah, their heights. Reshma was the tallest. Ah, MFP. Uh, that'd be the magnetic... Magnetic Fish Pond. This should also go in my notes. Yeah. Oh. oh, oh, there's a handle missing, but we have it. That's what this is that we found at the fireplace. Favorite to least favorite. Okay. Favorite to least favorite. And the pictures show us what the games are. So this must be Magnetic Fish Pond. That's Knitting Nancy. That's Quandary. And that's whatever the other one was. What was it? Uh, tell me, is what that was. Let's not do that just yet. Radio's all over the place, but of course they just play the same thing, whatever they're all picking up. I think the importance is that they might need to be set to something specific, but I don't know of anything to set this one to. So here's all of the notes, fave to least. I'm guessing the best way to tell which one is favorite is by how many times they played it, which you can see just based on how many tally marks there are. And also this one, just to reinforce that, this one says, this game is stupid, I prefer the other one. And this does seem to be the least liked one because it's also the least played with only eight tally marks. So fave to least. So favorite is tell me, next one down, 15 points, Magnetic Fish Pond, and then Knitting Nancy at 14 points. 
and then I didn't spell that right, but whatever. And then quandary. So most favorite is tell me, which was this is quandary. That's this must be tell me. Magnetic fish pond. Knitting Nancy, and then Quandry. Great. Cool. Glad that worked. Ooh. I don't think it worked. <laughs> hmm. I think I better go. <laughs> so, how I solved that? Pure luck. <laughs> uh, I tried a bunch of different combinations. It wouldn't be that hard to brute force it, but I didn't actually do that. Uh, I started thinking that maybe the ranking the games from favorite to least, uh, I started thinking, okay, who's favorite? All of their favorites, like a collectively or a specific person's favorites. So I I went through I think almost every person's scores, looking for uh, figuring that the one with the best score would be their most liked game and the one where they have the least score is their least liked game and I tried that for most of them didn't work and then I just solved it there because I just pulled a couple levers and I'm like man I have no idea pull pull a pull oh got it so that worked out pretty well well I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode so I hope you've enjoyed so far and when I return we're going to check out the children's safe room where it looks like they're safe from the crying boy. <laughs>